Hey, it's Doug with Backcountry Pilgrim. I'm here today at this beautiful area. It's a nice warm day. I'm climbing a few thousand feet in two completely different pairs of hiking boots. Why would I do something like that? Well, I have been asked by two different companies, La Sportiva and Nordiv 8, to test out their hiking boots. And I thought, what better way to do it than to put one of each on and go for a rather strenuous hike. One interesting thing about these boots is that they kind of represent the full spectrum of prices between a high quality hiking boot and a budget hiking boot. The Nord of 8s come in at about 50 bucks, the La Sportivas nearly five times as much. So the question is, is it worth spending that much more money on hiking boots? Today, I'm gonna find out. Now, it might seem rather radically unfair to be comparing two boots when one of them is so much higher priced than the other. But the reason I agree to check out this budget boot is because the Armadillo One was the number one boot on Amazon with over 10,000 five-star reviews. That's right, that's this boot right here. The most popular hiking boot on Amazon is a $50 boot. All right, so let's start off with the objective features and specs on both boots, and then I will go into my user experience with them. So the La Sportiva Nucleos really pretty much come out of the gate with the best of the best. They've got Nubuck leather uppers with nano cell inserts for maximum breathability. So you've got a leather upper with a 3D flex upper hinge. This supports natural ankle movement while providing stability and protection. So this is a fairly tough boot. The upper is lined with Gore-Tex, so it is a waterproof boot. The midsole is compression molded EVA with a two and a half millimeter polypropylene stiffener, which does make a big difference in the trail feel. They give you an ortholite hybrid insole made of 5% recycled rubber and a polyester Gore-Tex surround spacer. And then, as if the leather and the Gore-Tex and the ortholite weren't enough, the sole is a Vibram Nano XS Trek. So you know with Vibram, you've got the best traction on the market, but La Sportiva adds an impact brake system. Basically, this is a lug pattern on the heel that allows you to have good traction, even if the rest of the sole comes off the surface. So it's really good for descending slabby kinds of rocks when you're just using your heels a lot. Now, all of this comes in a boot that only weighs 20 ounces. So this is actually a pretty lightweight boot, even though it's coming with pretty much the best of every piece. Now, the Nordivate Armadillo 2 has a suede upper with a padded tongue and some kind of water resistant material. The website is not clear whether this boot is considered water resistant or waterproof. It says water resistant on the website, but there's a little panel on the boot that says waterproof. I did find both of these to handle water just fine. Now the only thing the website says about the sole is that it has multi-directional lugs, and that is pretty much it. I don't know what the waterproof lining is, I don't know what the midsole is, I don't have details on the insole, or pretty much anything else. Except that, according to my scale, these boots weigh in at 23 and a half ounces, so they are nearly a quarter pound heavier than the La Sportivas. So those are the objective specs on the boots, but how do they actually perform on the trail? Now, I don't really like doing boot or shoe recommendations because everybody's feet are different and something that works perfectly for me may not work at all for you and vice versa. However, now that we have looked at some of the objective features of the boots, I do think that some of my experiences with them are gonna be fairly universal. So let's talk about how each boot performed for me. I would say that one of the biggest things for me was that the La Sportivas felt like a really solid protective hiking boot, whereas the Nordiv 8s felt more like a good, comfortable shoe that just happened to have some more ankle support and a better gripping sole. In my experience, both of the boots were waterproof. I didn't have any trouble with water getting in either way. However, in my experience, the La Sportivas did breathe better. After several hours of fairly hot hiking, the inside of the La Sportiva was moist, 
but the inside of the Nordivates was damp. I could actually feel water inside there. So although my feet didn't necessarily feel much hotter in either shoe, it was pretty clear which one was getting rid of the moisture and which one was not. Interestingly, with the armadillos, I did notice some wind feel through the shoe. It felt like there was a bit of venting on the front that I didn't feel with the La Sportivas, but during an actual hike, I didn't really notice too much difference between the two, and although my feet were about the same temperature feel throughout almost the entire hike, the difference I noticed was that the Nord of Eight armadillos were retaining more moisture. So that was something that was kind of unpleasant between the two. As far as the soles, I didn't feel like either boot was particularly a whole lot better as far as gription goes. I felt pretty confident in both of them, although you can't beat a Vibram sole. However, the lack of a mid-sole stiffener in the Nord of Eights really made a big difference. When I stepped down onto sharp rocks or things like that, this shoe let way too much into my foot. I just felt like I was stepping on thick rubber and it was allowing too much of the trail surface to get in and impact my foot. Again, this goes back to the basic idea that this is more of a squishy shoe that is kind of a hybrid between maybe a shoe and a hiking boot, and this feels like a boot. There was a lot more protection here. I didn't feel like my foot was twisting as much, and even though I can easily bend my foot, I didn't feel like this was exposing me to sharp rock. When it came to the La Sportivas, probably my biggest complaint were these lace guides. These seem to be built to keep the laces in once they're snapped in, once they're pulled, but it's a little tricky getting those laces in there. Now, it's not impossible, and once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad, but it is the sort of thing that I would find very frustrating if I was out on the trail and I was tired and I was just trying to lace up my boots. That is something that I'd be concerned with. Okay, so what does all this mean? Well, basically, there is nothing wrong with this Nordivate Armadillo 2. If you are looking to upgrade from a tennis shoe or a trail runner and you just want a little bit more protection but you still want that kind of softness and that comfort, this is not a bad way to go. If, however, you are looking for something that is more protective, something that is going to allow you to take on more rugged, more technical terrain, and you want that pretty solid bomber protection for your feet, the La Sportiva Nucleo is going to be a much better way to go. Nearly every aspect of this boot is superior to the Nord of Eight Armadillo. However, was it four or five times better? Be honest about what your needs are. There is a lot more to protecting your feet and having a comfortable hike than the boots you wear. Your socks, your insoles, and other things are going to have a big impact on how comfortable and protected you are on your hike besides your boots, and some of those cost quite a bit as well. I wouldn't have any trouble at all hiking in these in most situations. However, these would not be my go-to if I was doing an extended trip or if I was gonna be doing a hard technical trail. I would much rather have something that is lighter and more protective than something that is cushier and softer. All right, I hope this video on the La Sportiva Nucleos and the Nord of Eight Armadillos has been helpful to you. If it has, why don't you give the video a like. Subscribe to Backcountry Pilgrim if you're into hiking, camping, backpacking, and the gear that goes with it. And until next time, thanks for watching.